Well, well, well. Hello, good morning. I believe it should be Wednesday. If the calendar keeps ticking the way that it's supposed to be ticking, it should be Wednesday. I finally have some things to tell you today. So, our weekly check-in. By the grace of God, the sighting people might show up tomorrow. Now, they were supposed to show up yesterday, and then they were supposed to show up today, and every day I get a text from them saying, it's gonna be another day. It is mid-December. The sighting thing was supposed to be done early October, like pre-Halloween. Like I should have had trick-or-treaters up in this barn, but they are nowhere to be found. I think they must have gotten lost. I will give them the benefit of the doubt and say maybe their phone died and their Siri couldn't direct them here. We're looking past it. Second thing, the architectural plans are taking also months longer than initially expected, which is okay. People are like, Morgan, why don't you just move in? There is no toilet, no sink, no shower, no floor, no wall. What I have now heard and decided based on my own personal judgment of when things are actually gonna show up, you know, we have to have a whole shebang. And this little shish kebab right here will not be livable for probably another year. My parents have graciously let me stay at their house for the time being. That was back in May that I showed up. And I was looking at the calendars today and I was thinking, okay, I've been here for six months. This is probably the worst, absolute worst way to describe this, but you know when you get a little floaty thing in your eye and it's just floating around and it's kind of annoying, but you're like, it's just a part of life. I am a floater. Like there are weeks in my life where I will sleep in four different bedrooms. Like I don't know where I live. Now that I know that we are not almost done, like we are permanently not almost done for the next eight months to a year. The healthiest thing for me to do as a 24 year old who works from home, works a lot, spends all day in my room on my laptop is to find a home base of my own. Would love to have like my own desk and like my own space to work because I just feel like I'm going a little crazy. Also, I am a highly introverted person. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I need a lot of alone time. One day, me and Miss Thing right here, we are gonna thrive together. We are gonna live happily ever after. Trinity will move in. We're gonna have the time of our life, but it's just not now. So with that, I have officially decided that I am moving out of my parents' house. But now comes the fun part where we have to try to find somewhere to live. Also, maybe the siding people will actually show up tomorrow because someone dropped off a porta potty. That is not my porta potty. I don't know whose it is. Things just show up. Also, like for the love of God, Morgan, get a freaking car wash. I'm getting I'm sick. Vincent is pulling Colorado bitches in his Colorado coat. We're gonna eat brunch. I'm taking my two consultants, my business partners. <laughs> We're going apartment hunting out in the city. Marcus showed up in shorts. It's 12 degrees. Scan the QR code. <laughs> Join what us. Everyone scan the QR code, decide what you want for breakfast. <laughs> have to have a reservation apparently because it is just booming beyond belief. First review, this is a very fancy cup. Smash the egg. Oh, Smash yeah. it for Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I feel like the Denver pigeons are kind of different. You guys see that reindeer? I think it got a little too tipsy. Okay, yeah, Marcus, you go find out what's going on. Go out there in the hurricane. <laughs> I'm okay. They put the planter <laughs> over the door. They're not letting anyone in. Oh, wait, I think Dirk's calling me. Hi, this is Derek here on the management officer. I've been submitted some sort of protocol uh, because of this wind. Wind, yeah. Hazard. They're not having the doors being open at this time. They just, they just really can't. So we're kind of in lockdown mode for the moment, and I apologize. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. Fake. <laughs> Call red, it. Red, red flag. flag. Okay, so flag. no one that lives here Look, can go in or out? Dude, I saw a man fly. I'm a little afraid to drive. I feel like this car is about to blast off to space. <laughs> if you live gone. here, don't come back until later. That is brilliant. If only you could see how you're standing up right now. <laughs> the kitchen was nice, hallway was nice, bedroom windows, beautiful. Lighting would be spectacular. You would be looking at me in HD lighting all the time. Rooftop, spectacular. Timing, I don't know. We 
we have two more to look at today. One at 3.30, another at 4.30. The first one we were supposed to look at at 1, and then they had a um, wind shutdown. What did they call it? A wind shutdown. So here's the thing about this apartment that I just showed you. It looks fabulous, 100%. It is absolutely stunning. So my only problem about it, this is not the apartment that I inquired to see. I did not inquire about the $15,000 million a month penthouse. I did not, <laughs> okay? Like I called yesterday and I said, I would like to see your basic one bedroom options. What did they do? They took me to the three bedroom penthouse and said, oh my gosh, imagine you and your friends could split it. It would be so fun. What? <laughs> what? All right, you know what? Since it's completely out of pocket, let's just hit it with the cons. One, I did not inquire to see it. Two, it is completely and utterly outrageously expensive. Three, the inside is so sterile and cold. Like me and Trinity were looking at the view and we're like, this is absolutely amazing. Like this is the best view in Denver, 100%. Why is the rest of the inside literally like a hospital? There was something schemey about them just taking me up there when I asked to see like the most basic unit that I just didn't like. So we're going on to the next. She's right. right. Trinity just said, if you want to get around here, you have to bike, walk, or scooter. Or scooter. There's no and even then, option. you're gonna, you might get hit if you're on a scooter. It is not this windy anywhere else. We come back to the freaking mm. wind closed building and it is back like look at this oh my god I think don't do it it's gonna break oh my god oh my god oh my god your door's about to fly open damn he just harry potter that <laughs> I feel like I just lost a cheek of my butt. I was gonna <laughs> in my Louis Vuitton purse. Yeah. Right now she got a dollar. That just outs everything about me and I no, I swear to God! Do not! I no, I'm not I'm not a cat. I'm gonna cry. That's the that's the snack, huh? This is the snack. Let's go to my car, I'm gonna get a ticket. That is the best place we've seen all day, and the guy was friendly. All the other people were a little sketch. Yeah. Marcus, will you marry me so we can be duo residents? Yes. Ooh, let's play again, kids. <laughs> Pull your phones out, Pull scan the code. Out. You guys, I just got home. It is 11.50 p.m. Welcome to the bedtime review. Nightcap, if you will. So, my full review of our time in the city today. I'm, one, really glad that we got to go. Two, I know that the videos are a little sporadic and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. That is just because when you go to tour an apartment, they'll show you like a few units that they have in each building to kind of get a feel for the place. Some of the places definitely want to show you the most expensive ones, but do not let them scam you. I was thinking about it today because I'm sitting in this room. It is a room in my parents' house that I decorated. I way 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 before i took on this whole house project i decorated this room that used to be my childhood bedroom that was a disgusting mess for the purpose of it being a guest room in my parents house now i've been living in here for six months did i know when i decorated this room that i was going to be living in here no like life is just kind of weird that way just to put it all out there the only unit that i saw today that i was semi interested in and could envision my temporarily permanent life there for the next six months to a year is the last one. Whoever built that last building just did a good job because compared to the first two that we saw, it was just very warm. It felt very homey. The people in there were all happy. I swear to God, every single person in there had a dog and said hello to you. Like they just wanted to say hi. They wanted to chat. Is it going to be my temporarily permanent home? I don't know. Am I going to recruit a roommate? 
I don't know. I feel like this feels very out of left field, but this has been something that I've been thinking about for a long time. What really inspired me going to look for a physical apartment to temporarily permanently stay in. I am sure that a lot of you have heard of Tara Michelle. She's another YouTuber. She just did a whole home renovation thing in Canada. Just went back, caught up, realized that she was living in an apartment while renovating her house. She actually made a video on why she wasn't living at her parents while she was renovating her house and why she chose to get her own temporarily permanent apartment. It didn't feel like a malicious attack against her parents as much as a healthy work from home, have your own life as a mid 20 year old person type of energy. So I'm just gonna be honest with you because I see you as my friend. I absolutely love YouTube. I love doing this. This is my favorite thing in the world. I'm so happy that I get to do this. However, I have never made this amount of videos in this short of a span of time. And I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit, just a teensy weensy bit of an opinion overload. I'm doing this because I want to do this. I'm having so much fun doing this. I really enjoy it. It just can be a lot to have so many people tell you how they think that you should live their life. And I got my feelings a little hurt yesterday because everyone was trying to diagnose me with different things and people were saying, oh, you have autism. Oh, you have ADHD. Oh, you have an eating disorder. And I'm like, I just, a person like I'm just normal the conclusion of my whole rant no there is not like this big family drama no I do not hate my parents I am extremely grateful for my parents and the time that I've had here like I said my egg has hatched my wings have grown I'm ready to fly bitch just as I am grateful for you I am grateful for my parents I am grateful for my home, I'm grateful for my friends. Really, I'm just a grateful little girl that's just a little nervous. Today specifically, we went and looked in the city. Marcus and Vincent are in town. They were staying in Denver. I just thought it would be a good place to start. I'm gonna look at a few more places before I make, you know, a final decision. Decision? This is like the in the drafts brain mentality. Like, okay, this is like a work in progress. Oh, and if you get absolutely nothing else out of this vlog, you can just know that Denver is pretty. It's a pretty little city. It's very cute. It's mid-December. Life is a little boring right now. That's what I had going on today. Um, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for spending your day with me. I appreciate you so much. So I'm gonna go take my makeup off. I'm gonna wash my face. I fuck, I might even put my retainers and I'm feeling so crazy tonight. I love you so much and I will see you so soon.